Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to back up your WordPress blog. Now we already looked in an other tu now we've already looked in one of the former tutorials about how to back up your entire site using your cPanel and backing up either your whole site or your database that your WordPress site is loaded into. But let's go ahead and take a look at the plugins that we can use to back up. So I've gone into plugins, add new, and looked up backup. And as usual, you're going to see a bunch of different programs here that have different ratings. Now going down, you can see that Updraft Plus has the best ratings, so I'm going to go ahead and click Install Now. And Updraft Plus is going to allow you to back up into the cloud, meaning a Google Drive, your FTP, and even an email, and just restore it with one click. You can also back up your files and databases on separate schedules, so let's go ahead and click Install Now. Activate the plugin, and scrolling down, we can see that we've got Updraft Plus Backup and Restore. So let's go ahead and take a look at our settings, and I'm going to click on Backup Now, and this is going to show us the backup directory where it will go. If you'd like this to go into another folder, you can go ahead and type the address in here, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone. It also shows you when the next backup is scheduled, when the next scheduled database backup is, and when the last backup has been done. Since I haven't done any of these yet, you'll see that these are all set on no backup has been completed. Underneath that, it has file backup intervals. You can do it manually, daily, weekly, or monthly. And your database backup intervals, which are also daily, weekly, monthly, or manually. You can choose which files to backup, including plugins, themes, and uploads. How many backups you want to retain. This is how many files and database backups will be retained. If you have a database encryption phrase, if you're going to be doing a remote backup, and this could be to Amazon S3, to a Google Drive, to an FTP, and to email. And I'm going to have it do a backup to an email. And then the email address where this will go. If you want to delete the local backup, and if you want to do it in debug mode. Once that's done, I'm going to click on Save Changes, and then I'm going to click on Backup Now. This is going to schedule a one-time backup. Click OK. And you can see now we have one backup file available. So I'm going to click on that file. It's going to show us when it took place, everything that was included in it. And if I need to restore it, I can click Restore, choose which file you want to restore from, and click on Restore Now. So that's just a way that we can use one plugin to go ahead in and back up our site. Let's go back into our plugins. We can also edit and this is if you know HTML and want to edit your files. Again, not recommended unless you really know what you're doing. And you can also donate. Donating is a great idea because the people that make up these widgets for you are putting their hard-earned time and money into making these widgets. And if you donate, you give them a little something back. So that's how we're going to do our backup and restore with Updraft Plus, although you can choose any of the other plugins that you saw, just make sure they have a high rating. So thanks for listening to this tutorial. I'll see you next time. Have a great time with your WordPress page.